Good evening, everybody. Welcome back here on the live stream from Yonex Denmark Open 2013. Court number two. We're off to witness a women's singles match here between Michelle Chan from New Zealand, the white shirt, and no other than the 18-year-old reigning world champion Rachanok Intanon from Thailand. My name is Alexander Wang. I am here with Steen Peterson for this match and the four next. We have five matches remaining today from this first day of the main tournament here. Rajanok Intanon is the three-time winner of the BWF World Junior Championships as well, actually. She won back in 2009 for the first time, and then in 2010 and 2011 Court as well. Three, and the extraordinary thing is that she was only 14 when she won that championship for the first time. And we're off here. Love all. High player is ranked number two in the world. Michelle Chan is number 88. It has actually been as high as 37 in the New Zealand player. Currently playing in, uh, practicing in Denmark and playing in the Danish badminton league. Good by the linesman. Before winning the World Championships, Ratchanok Intanon also won on home court at the SCG Thailand Open. She also won the gold medal at the Yonex Sunrise India Open. Over. 
Vi skal bede ejeren af en hvid renum igen med indregistreringsnummer GG 47 991 om at flytte deres bil omgående, da den er alt for lov ulovligt lovlig blokeret. By winning the World Championships back in August, she became the youngest ever to win the gold medals at that tournament. Five, two. And she's actually playing her first tournament since that. Triumph. Probably quite wise to take a little bit of a break and let all the impressions sort of get to you. Yeah. First, no. first ever Thai player to win a world championship title. It's huge for a country that's progressing Seven. a lot in international badminton at the moment. Earlier today, we also saw the men's singles player, 23-year-old Tanon Zak Sengzong Bunsuk, sending local hero Hans Christian Widding, who's out of the tournament. If you have been following this live stream at any other time of the day, you might notice a slight difference in the noise from the crowd. The evening session has just begun. People are gathering inside Odin's Sports Park. Creating a more noisy atmosphere for the players to play in. There's no doubt about the audience is quite excited about experiencing this 18-year-old phenomenon. so interesting to follow her through this tournament Internet suddenly the player everybody targets everybody is filming on video figuring out how can we beat this formidable player yeah we must assume that she advances from this first round Excellent she's shot there. She's doing well right now. Going into the interval with a six-point lead. 11-5. Remember... Our email is still open for questions and comments. Denmark open at gmail.com is the address. Be sure to write to us if you have anything to say, anything to ask. Good, two, 
Landed on the line there. The ball from Intanon. And of course, until the World Championships in Guangzhou, China was holding all major championships all world championships titles all olympic gold medal titles but uh, of course in uh, guangzhou one title for internet in the ladies singles and two for indonesia in men's doubles and mixed doubles so china left with two world championship titles in the individual events I know that in the men's doubles category, Stain, China didn't even have a pair in the final. No, and I guess they're in some sort of transition state right now. Yeah. Great rally here, and uh, we have to compliment uh, Michelle Chan because she's really giving her best effort. Uh, just just doesn't seem like it's enough for her. No, and, and we couldn't expect that either. So, good match for Intanon to get started on. She's got such a great touch. And of course, even here, a bit of luck. That counts as well.
She's not making e it easy for herself there. Michelle Chan. Gone wide, wouldn't it? Eight, Point for Chan. Now, in a match like this, Steen, it's probably difficult for Michelle Chan to know what to do better in the next game. Or what to hope for? Nine, yeah, I, I mean, she hasn't played badly. She, I mean, it's just that the uh, internet is it's a better player, much better player. there in the serve and the game point just moving the ball around the young Thai player and then finishing it with a wonderful smash down the line first game won by Completely out of reach for Michelle Chan. 21-9. 21-9 is the score here at the end of this first game. Yeah, and it's pretty much as expected. I mean, nothing surprising in that. Uh, I don't really expect a lot of changes in uh, the second game. In a match like this, you might assume that the goal for Ratchanok Intanon is, is not solely to go after the victory, but also find the lines, get her game going in the hall, as you said earlier, Steen. Setting herself some other goals than just going after the victory. She's already ready. Yeah, not a whole lot of things to discuss. Score two, 20 seconds. I wonder if the New Zealand trainer has spotted any weaknesses. Yeah, that could be interesting. I, I guess there's a lot of other coaches that would like to be updated on that if he's seen any. <laughs> Probably, yeah. One, no. I don't 
don't expect Vlachanok Intanon to lower her pace in this game. Although she can actually play at a, uh, a lower level and still win. She doesn't have to be at her top game in order to win this match. She's not one of those lazy players. I think she's trying to make it a short game, this one, if she can. Long. One, two. long as well it's actually uh, a beautiful match to just sit in and enjoy because internet she's got such good skills both technical wise and her movements on court so smooth makes me think of uh, the basketball team the Harlem Globetrotters traveling the world making exhibition matches and Unfortunately for Michelle Chan, right now her role is more of the opposite team traveling together with the Harlem Globetrotters, creating all the layups for her. Interesting comparison there, Steen. Rachinok Internet. But I see your point. No doubt about who's running this show. Five, who's the one. main attraction on court number two right now. Giving anything away there, the young time. Very polite. World champion. Thanking the service judge for passing a new shuttle on to her. to do for Michelle Chan here. And I wonder what kind of ambitions a player like Michelle Chan has ahead of a match like this. Trying to do her best, being tested against the best player in the world right now. Oh. 
Ten. One. And now come the easy mistakes. Nothing she does seem to work. I stand corrected. Good smash from the New Zealand player. The smash gives her her second point in this game. And now two consecutive points. Ten. Yeah, I believe she takes what she can get of points. It's an amazing power that she get in her smashes, despite her size. And yet she doesn't look that brutal in her playing style. Very graceful in some way. I think she's brutal to play against. <laughs> Even if you played against her, Alex, I think you'd be in trouble. I'm not sure I'd get any more points than Michelle here. I don't think so either. I think many people in the world feel like that. Michelle Chen wants the court mopped. Shot there, great chance taken by Michelle Chan. Intanon didn't expect that. It was out of her range. And at this time, I think a likely ambition for the New Zealand player is to achieve more points in this game than she did in the first. She needs five points to do that. She just gave away some points here, the tie player. A 
little celebration from the tie there. Just upping her energy level, maybe. Seven, 40. Excellent seven, little seven. twist of the wrist. 15, seven. Totally fooling Michelle Chan. Good shot. Just stayed on her own half of the court. Just kissed the line. Did it, Stain? <laughs> yeah, I agree. And uh, applause from uh, the coaches of uh, Michel Chen. I know you're sitting right down the line. You can see it nearly as well as the linesman. I can see it better. <laughs> of course you can. I'm a little bit elevated compared to the court. And I totally agree with the linesman. Service over. 16, 17-9, Ratchanak Intenon here in the first round of the Yonex Denmark Open. Michelle Chan trying to make it a two-figure score. Oh, nice shot there by Intenon. Caught Michelle Chan wrong-footed. And also, she has a lot of points to give off. I think the young Thai player would prefer closing this match within the next two rallies. Just to get a good start here in the tournament. Impressive. She seemed a bit out of balance to me, and yet she still manages to fire a smash away like that. And now she has 11 match points. And a really nice display here for the Danish audience of uh, a technical skills, her movement, and uh, also her gracious uh, personality. And there she has her double-digit score, Michelle Chan. Yeah. 
Seven, twenty. Just took the net, that last rally there. Ratanog Intanon wins. Oh, very thankful for how the audience applauds her. Match won by Intanon Ratanog. 33 minutes it took. Her opponent shall be found on the next court, actually on the court, right next to comp court number two here. Young Anatia Masson is playing Christina Gaunhold of Czech Republic. Looks like it's the latter who will proceed to the next round. We'll be back shortly with another lady singles after a short break here. The airport is being developed as a test center for UAVs. Here you can fly your UAV, you can uh, run your business from here, you can invite customers. Located here at the airport is uh, also the Danish national network uh, for the UAV society. We have uh, actually uh, collected, uh, gathered the whole uh, UAV community from the universities and researchers, students, to uh, operators and companies producing UAVs and also uh, we have the end users like uh, public organizations like police, emergency management, uh, fire squads etc. So we have the whole market. There's a lot of uh, air traffic in, uh, in Europe uh, but here it's, uh, it's close to the ocean and it's uh, a pretty uh, densely populated area so, so the possibilities for operating here uh, are very good. We have both offices, hangars, meeting facilities. So when you come here as a foreign company, it's, it's really easy to, to get located here for a shorter or longer period of time. Developing the airport is, uh, is an important thing both for the country as a whole and uh, not at least for the region. Want to be massaged by a heavenly king? No problem. Let me take you to the highest level of massage indulgence. Awesome U Infinity, the world's first massage chair that lets you download new massage programs like the CEO, the Tai Tai, and my heavenly king massage. New massage downloads to satisfy the whole family. Amazing? So what are you waiting for? New massage downloads for endless pleasure. Awesome U Infinity. Awesome. 